Look at that. Look at that. That's Icefall Mantle. That's cool, isn't it? There's no way this exotic's gonna get nerfed. Now, what if I told you it was shaping up to be one of the most potentially broken exotics to come stock with Beyond Light? Let me just break it down for you real quick. Icefall turns your barrier into an overshield. It could also have some drawbacks. Most likely, it will have a reduced health bar and duration, kind of like with Saiten's Ramparts, or however you pronounce that. But as of right now, there is no real way to tell. Either way, we'll address that when we finally get our hands on it. For now, you can take a good hard look at the gear and abilities that we do have, and you start to get a bit of an image in your head of an overshield that you can generate at will on top of a gun that also creates a shield. Essentially, we might be able to build this in such a way where we are constantly shielded from enemy attacks. Maybe, in theory. It might sound a bit crazy since we don't even have our hands on it yet, but again, this is all theory. If you can sit here for at least six minutes and listen to me yap my gums, I might even be able to prove it to you. But to do that, we need to take a few steps backward real quick, specifically back to the Guardian games. Air Apparent was an exotic machine gun that came from the abysmal aforementioned event, one that I decided not to finish getting because I was so unbelievably burnt out by it by the time I was even remotely close to finishing the quest. In retrospect, that was a rather lousy decision, but I digress. Jay now has connections, and I'd be a royal piece of work if I didn't give credit where credit is due. Be sure to head on over to the Iron Worker Gaming channel after this and harass him with a barrage of heart comments and love letters because he helped me turn this from a concept into an actual project by providing me with all of the gun footage that you see in this video. Back to the matter at hand here, however, take a look real quick at Iron Worker. He's doing some big boy work in my tribute hall. As you can see, Air Apparent generates a shield when you spin the barrel up at full health. Oddly enough, that should allegedly work swimmingly with a brand new exotic, aka the one that I mentioned earlier and kinda named this video after, Icefall Mantle. It converts the Titan's class ability into an overshield. Now, it's key to remember that overshields cannot stack. As a result, there is no use trying to activate both at the same time. What we're doing here is cycling overshields. In my mind, it makes the most sense to start with the gun shield since it can be activated at any given time, assuming you have ammunition for it. When it starts to run low, then you can hit for your class ability. Icefall will convert it into an overshield, returning any lost shields instantaneously. But it goes a lot deeper than that. Bungie is nothing if not creative, and there are more than just a few different ways that we can maybe make this even just a little bit better. See, there's two subclasses in specific that fit real well. One I'll talk about in another video, and one that this exotic was seemingly built for, or at least that's just kind of how it feels. We've got three abilities here that might be able to turn this into solid gold. Defensive Strike, which generates an overshield on charged melee kills. Rallying Force, which restores health for both the user and allies on a charged melee kill. And lastly, Turn the Tide. This increases the duration of the overshield generated by Defensive Strike and buffs melee damage slash reload time as well. Defensive Strike and Rallying Force are essentially one and the same. Defensive Strike gives an overshield that can't, I must repeat, can't stack on the gun shield and rallying force restores a quarter of your health bar under the overshield. We can't have two overshields at once, but having a third shield in the event that the first two crumble is never a bad idea. So get this, combat starts, air apparent is in your hands and you're ready to go. From here, as I mentioned earlier, you can cycle out your overshields. Start with the gun shield, move on to the titan barricade when it's running low, and after that you can move on to defensive strike. Defensive strike converts all final blows from any source into melee energy well it's active, so I'd probably proc that after Icefall's overshield breaks. That way there's always a barrier while one or the other is on a cooldown. If it weren't already clear enough, let me just make it crystal. Infinite Overshields. High enough resilience tiers can allow for a class ability once every 14 seconds on top of the shield generated by Air Apparent. As I said before, you can only have a single overshield active at one time, so none of these are going to be able to stack. But even if they can't stack, that doesn't mean you can't make use of a three shield strength slash resilience titan. You're turning yourself into a moving powerhouse of death that has a shield literally at any given time. When the gun shield and the overshield run dry, defensive strike will grant another. Rallying Force restores health on charged melee kills, which in theory will be enough to allow you to use the Air Apparent's gun shield again. If there's one thing Destiny doesn't have enough of, it's ways to self-buff. For the record, that's sarcasm. But that's not the end of it, not even by a long shot. See, I dabble in mods quite a bit on this channel, so I'd be an idiot not to take a gander at the catalog of mods that's built up from season to season. One in specific stands out to me, that being Protective Light. 
As if three shields on ready to go at any given moment just wasn't quite enough, protective light allows for extra damage resistance after your shields are broken and you're down to your last quarter of a health bar. The duration of said damage resistance is determined by the amount of charges that are currently being held, so it's definitely something worth taking, assuming what you're getting into calls for it. As you can see here on screen, I have three stacks of charged with light. When my shields break, I get a buff called Sheltered by the Void, and while I can't give an exact number as to how much damage is being dampened, I can say that the effect is significantly more noticeable than one might initially think. Again, it is definitely worth taking depending on what exactly it is that you're doing. It's a good backup plan if you ever find yourself in that awkward scenario where all of your overshields are on cooldown. The way that all of this works in my head is relatively straightforward. You have two shields. One is physical and the other is weapon based. Now, they can't both be active at the same time, but you can cycle through them, allowing for maximum damage reduction in tense encounters, while also letting your melee come off of cooldown. Should both of those shields fail, you have your defensive strike to generate a backup shield, if you will, and when that shield breaks, protective light will kick in and increase damage resistance while you wait on recovery. With the emphasis on crowd control with these new subclasses, it's fair to assume that the overall enemy count we'll be seeing in instance-based encounters is about to skyrocket, and that's not something I'm brokenhearted over either. All of these new armors and guns have seemingly been built with that idea in mind, and Icefall Mantle is no exception to that either. This is what we call min-maxing, and it's something that I spend a lot of my time doing in this game. Hopefully, this is another one of those moments where one of my wild predictions is actually right, and I don't end up looking like a washout. Again, theory. Just an idea. We'll see how it all shapes up in just a little over a week, and believe me when I say that I'm going to be busier than I ever have been before. I might even try to work heavy-handed in here as well. You can expect to see that and a full review of the exotics as I get them post-launch. This has been your friendly neighborhood degenerate video. The Boy of Jays is out.